Hey there guys, Arabi here and welcome back to my Project Cars career mode on the PS4 with the live commentary for you today. We're back with episode number 2 and we're going to continue on with our Formula Rookie career mode. We're going to go to the second race now and we're just going to dive straight in. So here we are, the career calendar. We're here for this next uh, event, which is a Formula Rookie UK Challenge, but also a Formula A and Formula B going on at the same time at this same circuit. So it looks like we're definitely the third tier kind of for, uh, support race for that race particular race weekend so here we are for our second round it's going to be at snetterton uh hopefully i said that right and uh it's going to be round two of two so this suggests these little uk challenge just two rounds and then maybe we can progress to some bigger national ones maybe this is just a more of a regional championship we're in at the moment we're going to do obviously the practice i might show you a bit of the practice um because i didn't show you in uh the first episode but i don't want to keep these videos too long because you know it takes a long time to render it because it's on ps4 so it's 1080p 60 fps and then i render it out in 720p but it just takes so long to render and then even longer to upload that i just don't want to make them too long because then it physically isn't practical for me uh but we'll try and fit in a little bit of practice maybe so in terms of the settings obviously some of you guys commented below in the first episode that you wanted a longer race now a few people wanted the full 100 percent. i don't think i can do that right now maybe when i get back home not at this uni place where uh, the internet is really not that great and I can't afford to upload really long races like that. And we're not really editing it that much. So I'm going to bump it up one more to 52% and that's going to be a 15 minute race. I think that's pretty good. And the opponent skill you can see I bumped it up to 90 now. It was on 80. Uh, I'm going to see how 90 goes. If it's too much then we'll bump it back down to 80. We didn't win a race obviously in the last round. So I think 80 is maybe a good mark. But we'll see how 90 goes today in Snetterton. And uh, yeah we'll just see how it goes. Also, guys, from the first episode, obviously, you saw that my nickname or, like, f Twitter account for this uh, P Project Carl's career mode is at WMD underscore Arava. Now, I've actually made this Twitter account in real life. So, if you guys tweet that account at D uh, D WMD underscore Arava, if you actually tweet that account, if you have a Twitter account, you may have the chance of getting your tweets read out on this series. Because, I like, like I was reading out the fake fans, uh, you know, tweets to me in the Project Carl's career area. I, you know, suggested that would be a really cool idea to actually tweet out real tweets that I get from you guys to that account. So do that if you want to be have the chance to get read out. I think it'll be kind of nice and interactive for you guys. Just add another dimension to this career mode. Right, so let's dive into practice. No more talking. Let's get straight into the racing. So we're in practice at the moment. I was reading through some comments in the last episode and someone suggested that I can actually uh, look further in the tuning menu and I have found some extra settings we can choose from alignment so we can try and kind of choose the cambers. Now, obviously in racing, if you increase the camber inwards towards the car, especially on the front tires especially, it improves the amount of turn that you get and the amount of grip but it also kind of detracts from your actual straight line speed. So I'm going to maybe play around with it a little bit in this practice session, see what's going on. But um, yeah, so we're going to get into practice now. I'm probably only going to show you some footage if something interesting happens. Uh, but then if nothing does, then we'll just cut to qualifying. Okay, so here we are in qualifying. Not much happened in practice uh, like the last one. Uh, the practice sessions are really quite short. Nothing really goes on apart from just feeling out the track for myself. So let's go out straight away like we did last time. Overcast conditions here. And uh, again, as I said at the beginning of the video, this first race, um, the qualifying and the first race will be in cockpit, and then we'll do the second race in the T-cam. Um, cockpit's okay. I still prefer the T-cam, to be honest, because you can see a lot more what's going on, and I feel for the video as well, it's a lot better. But, you know, cockpit's not bad, and I guess if you aren't doing it for a YouTube video, then I guess cockpit is actually a lot more kind of, you know, it is real, more realistic, obviously. And I'll go wide a little bit. The tyres are very cold. And also, I'm trying to talk and just drive on these cold tires. Not the best, so I think as we go wide again, I think I'll shut up and just uh, go on this outlap, and then I'll start talking once the uh, hot lap starts. Okay, here we're starting the first technically fast fast lap, the flying lap, but the tires are still very much very cold. You can see on the bottom right indicator. So they're not going to be at the optimum. So the next lap after this will probably be the optimum fast lap. So we'll see how it goes on this one. Getting very, very dark here. It's almost like it's going to rain, which is a bit crazy. that will be very interesting if there's a wet race or anything like that. So I'm not too sure what to expect. Well, we're just finishing our, our first flying lap. And the second one here after this will probably be the hot one. And I hope that it's not going to start raining in the middle of that lap. But here we go. 
coming on to the pits right now and this will be now this next lap will be the fast one uh, not too happy with that first corner could have taken more speed really Let's see how this hairpin goes a bit too early hit the bump quite hard yeah, that wasn't the best little section there. Probably could have done better. It is getting really, really dark. I'm sort of worried if it is going to start raining or something. Right. Really be careful. Let off, then power. You can just about keep it fourth gear now. Here, need to... Whoa, no. Snapped on me. In the middle of the corner. And lap time invalidated again. Oh, this is annoying me now. Alright, come on. This next one has to be fine. Don't mess this one up. Straight line. And now break. There we go. Bro probably a bit too much there. The thing is, we'll get the lap in now. What will it be? Oh, enough for 12th. That's horrible. We'll go for one more. I think uh, the uh, cockpit cam is not the best for me. But I just set the fastest sector as you saw there. So this may be a better lap. But definitely I think the cockpit cam is uh, hurting my performance a little bit. New best sector 2. It's going well. Just need to keep it in this sector. Alright, I'm going to go tighter here. Let off the throttle. Second gear. That's much better on the exit. There we go. Run, short run to the line. Keep it on the right. Pole position! Get in! Get in! That is awesome. Pole position there. I've gone off. I don't care. That is awesome. That is awesome. Pole position. Oh, that I'm putting my I'm putting my finger in the air on my left hand, taking it off the wheel. Oh, that was uh, not gonna lie. That was uh, I felt really nice. That was a nice lap. And if this can be pole, if it stays this way, that's that's gonna feel awesome. So guys, it ended up being pole position for our race at Snetterton, the first race at least. That's awesome. There was a 6 tenth gap to the next car, which is pretty actually quite big actually. So that's really awesome. I didn't think I could do it, you know, considering the qualifying we had last time and that was an 80% AI. This is 90%. Um, you know, that's a really awesome result. And I didn't really feel like we had to do a lot of laps to get that, that lap out of the car. But in the end, it worked out. So now we're going to go straight to race one. Really, really feeling good about this. So guys, before we get onto the race quickly, as I said before in the episode, that if you want to tweet me at WMD underscore Arava, you can, and you could get read out on the episode. I think it's going to be a really nice interactive thing along with those fake fans in the career mode. And we've actually already got some tweets in the first episode already here, so I'm going to read them out. So we're going to read these out like they were the kind of fake tweets from the career mode. But obviously these are actually you guys, some of you guys tweeting in at this at WMD underscore Arava account. We've got Shane saying this guy's going places. Can't wait to see the next race. Hashtag AA7, new kid on the block. 
Danny says, what a great race last time. Let's go on to some race wins. That's awesome. Andrew says, good debut from Arab this weekend. Of course, judgment's reserved until he has that title. Fair enough, fair enough. And lastly, Josh Lem says, great video. Felt the tension. Could have cut it with a knife. How he wasn't talking. And finally, Risky Apex says, keep her going. Well, let's see how we do in this race one. We've got a pole position. I am feeling awesome. I'm feeling like a vessel, really, on pole position. That wasn't really, you know, just plugged in lap at the very end it took us some time but now let's get on to race one see if we can convert this pole into a win okay so for our first race we have some fog so that's a little scary um i don't know how that's going to affect things let's see how we do from pole position Jim told me to get a good start. I think that's okay. And we're away from pole. That wasn't too great. They're right on the back of me. Let's be a bit aggressive into the first corner. Make sure no one cuts on my inside. Good. Yeah, cheers, Jim, but don't talk to me in the corners. See, right here, just as you're meant to break. Just like that. Went wide. Got to defend. He's on the left somewhere. I'm squeezing him quite hard on into the grass kind of bit, but there he is. He's still there, leaving him enough room. So I'm being fair enough. Looks like he's backed out. For now, might try something around the outside. Nope, he thinks better of it. But just there, just as I said, literally as I was speaking about the topic, you know, at the Alton Park, you know, in that episode, everything went really well. Um, obviously, we didn't win, but nothing went wrong. And I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest, that nothing went well, uh, nothing went wrong on my first career races with no assists. But at this circuit, it's going okay. But this circuit just feels a lot more like I could lose it at any point. So I'm having to work a little bit harder. Definitely feels like I'm having to work harder. Okay, guys. One more lap left. One more lap. Okay, Jim. I will look out for that. But it does look like from the mirrors, I'm pretty safe, to be honest. Jim Jim doesn't have a lot of banter, does he? My race engineer. Banter's not there. And if you follow my uh, at, at WMD underscore Arava account, you'll know that in the bio, I put I leave all my banter on the track. I do all my banter on the track. And at the moment... Well, Jim's letting me down on the banter side from the engineer. He's going to have to do better. Hopefully I get a more banterous engineer as I climb up the ranks. But uh, I'm going to miss Jim if we part ways soon. He's been quiet, but he's been, uh, he's been helpful. And here we go. Oh boy, lads. Lads. Here we are. Win! Get in! Yes, I won't be forgetting that. That is our first win of the season. That is awesome. That feels really, really good. Hard, hard earned because we lost the lead for a second for a lap and we got it back. That feels good. That was a good win. Good race. Okay, guys, here we are for the second race, the last race of the episode. We are P8 out of P16. We've got a seven-lap race ahead of us. Let's just do the best we can. I don't know where we can go from P8, but we're not going to set any targets here. We're going to be back in the T-cam as well now from P8. Let's go to the green. green. 
and we are off really good start Ooh, little tap wire there little cheeky from the AI there let's try and go around some of these guys oh lovely exit up to P4 that has worked out so well actually I don't know why my hood's changed a little bit where is the one I like Oh, there it was for a second. That's the one. The one I can where I can actually see what's going on behind me. And see if an AI is about to kill me from behind because these guys are a bit like trained assassins. <laughs> any at any point they can just punt you off. Because they may be aggressive, they may be fast, but they're a bit thick at times, so sometimes they don't really see you're there. I've seen plenty of uh, very strange AI crashes on YouTube already. Oh god, gone wide there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Guy's got me for P4. But uh, yeah, I've seen a fair few random, <laughs> very funny AI crashes on YouTube already. Not experienced any myself yet, but I'm sure I will in this career mode. Don't you worry. But here we go, trying to get this guy, having to lift off a little bit as we get on the grass. Oh, God. No, went down one gear too many there. That was a bit of poor driving there. Let's concentrate a bit more. Going to commentate less. Try and catch back up to P4. Oh, my word. What is with the AI in this second race? Just dumb me down the inside. Frick. Come on, let's get him back. Gone really deep there. That wasn't really what I wanted to do. We're just losing places here. Get back in the slipstream. Gaining. Won't be enough. Won't be enough. Oh, that was a good corner. Oh, I hate being on the inside. These AI are very annoying when you're on the inside, let's say. Ooh. Oh, I had to do opposite lock there. But we just made it, thankfully. I was a bit afraid that he was going to crash into me if I went wide. Okay, Jim, thanks for that. I'm sort of hoping I can kind of get away from this guy and go off the P4, but three laps to go. We could do it, but it's going to be tough. Last lap here. Don't think we'll be able to catch P4, but you know what? I'm happy with P5. That's pretty solid considering... The issues we had this race. Oh, I have one more issue. Went a little bit too right there. Gone wide on the exit. Oh, God. Just about caught it. Last corners. And this will be our first little UK challenge championship done on the Formula Rookies. 
Here we come. A win in fifth place. That's pretty solid, I think. Yep, first and fifth. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And would you look at that? We got three bonus points. One for qualifying on pole. One for fastest lap in race one and two. That is absolutely awesome. That's awesome. Three extra points there. And obviously the biggest one was the win. The win in uh, in the first race. That was, that was very, very good. And oh my word. We have won the UK Challenge Formula Rookie Championship. Get the fuck in. That is absolutely awesome. Did not think I was actually going to win because the way the first episode went, I didn't know it was going to be a winning championship. But we have done it. We have proved that that was wrong in the, from the tweets and whatnot. We have got the championship. That is, that is, I'm so chuffed with that. I'm so chuffed. Well, it looks like we have some mail in our inbox. We've got one invitation from the Glencliffe Kart Club trophy. Uh, we'd like to invite you and participate in a kart club. Uh, no thanks. I don't fan. I don't really fancy doing uh, a little bit of karting, really, because I've uh, heard too many horror stories about karting. We've got another email from Orion Racing. Uh, to Arav, as prominent member of a race, uh, race driver community, we'd like to extend a warm invitation to come and race in the historic TGA Evo 2 Drivers Classic as a guest of Orion Racing. The event happens on the 24th of the 5th, and we would be honoured to see you race in the event. If that's something you're interested in, then please join us at the venue. I might do that. Tell me below, guys. Let me know if you want me to do that. It's a TGA Evo 2 cla Driver Classic uh, event. Uh, we've got another one from... Uh, oh, it's our engineer, Jim. Great win, mate. Jim, <laughs> great banter. Cheers for that, Jim. Really ecstatic with that email, aren't you? So, guys, that's going to be the end of episode two of this Project Cars career mode on the PS4 with live commentary. The next episode will be the Euro Trophy now for Formula Rookie. Uh, the next episode will probably be quite some away. This is going to be probably uploaded on Sunday. Uh, the next episode will probably be on Thursday because, unfortunately, I have um, I have two exams, uh, university exams, on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to be bringing out a Formula One video tomorrow on Monday. So the exams then are going to come on Tuesday and Wednesday. So there's going to be a little break there hopefully i can get the next one up on thursday so i hope you guys stick around for that if you're new around here then do subscribe for that weekly project cars career mode and f1 career mode and other in real life f1 videos if you did enjoy that video then do leave a massive like comment below on what you thought let me know what the next hashtag should be for the next race i think i took uh, one of your suggestions from the comments of the episode one and the hashtag for this race was uh, on the uh, on on the up or something like that so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Remember to tweet at WMT underscore Arava if you want to see maybe your tweet be uh, in, in the next video read out. Uh, yeah, but I've been Arava. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed that Project Cars video. That was another awesome episode. And I'll see you guys next time.